Quick, does that, has anyone come up with an answer? Who is the villain in Duke Nukem Forever? Was it the president? Not really. He's, he was like in two cutscenes. And you have a boss fight. Who is, who is the villain? Nobody knows. Hello, it's Mad Men Muscles. Insert Duke Nukem quote right now. There you go. You can you can say any of you at home can say whichever Duke quote is your favorite. Yeah, you you can do the work on that one. <laughs> There's going to be plenty of Duke quotes left to go. So what are we what are we staring at? This is, this is DNF. What are we? What are we? Yeah, we're doing this. We're doing this. All right. So I've never played uh, the Doctor Who clone me. Uh, a, a, from all accounts, a really good section of the game that was just simply chopped out and, um, like, sold to you again uh, via the magic of Randy Pitchford. Last time on Did Not Finish... Yeah, that's, that's, that's how you feel when you're playing to the Oh, a lot of asset reuse already. We can see it. Yes, yes, we don't need him anymore. You're free to terminate the patient. Get it, terminate. Because it looks like a terminator. Tap space to defeat. Like, Duke is... Okay. Duke is a roided up weirdo, but like he's he's more powerful than this guy, Ultron. All right, so just to give people, uh, you know, just to be completely transparent, I I simply don't have time to follow up in the narrated style of video that I was doing for Duke Nukem Forever. We did it for the main campaign, uh, but each video is a lot of work, and there's a lot of stuff I'd rather be doing than play Duke Nukem Forever. So I think for the Doctor Who clone me, this will be more classic. We're going to kick it. We're going to kick good. So it's already a good start for this DLC, because you start off with a gun. It's a good thing. It's a good thing to start off your first-person shooter with a shooter. Hello there. Fuck off! Can I can I go in there? I don't know. Maybe that was harsh that I killed that guy. It might have been. Well, let's, let's see it. I want to see it. Anyone down here? No. Oh god, turret sections and those goddamn ships. I'm just going by like civvy videos and some other people about this actually being better. So they brought back Dr. Proton just, just for this game, which is good. It's good that they did that. It's very good. So they brought back Dr. Proton for this, which is good. It's a good thing that they did that. It's very good. Um, because at least that's a villain. Who is the villain in DNF? Let me know if you think you actually know. Because you don't. No one does. So that said, finger me because we're playing Duke Nukem Forever. Gonna finger bang bang you into the night. Now, I don't know why Duke Nukem would have authorization to go anywhere, really. Eh, why not? I don't know. I don't know if this will be useful. You know what? Let's shoot that just in case. I'm, I'm trying to think outside the box here. I'm trying, trying to think like the build engine. Which would normally explode right there, but it looks like Halo's going off back. Then. They are, do they do look like ships that would belong in Halo? Does there was a lot of stuff in Duke Nukem Forever that should have stayed in Halo? <laughs> no, I don't actually, but it doesn't seem to matter in most instances. In every Duke Nukem Forever, don't forget 1503. Keep in a safe place, 1503. I'll be sure to forget that later. All right, we're gonna scan it for big scans. Whatever this does, sure. I mean, did this ever really help anyone using the security cameras to do Nukem Forever? Maybe it did. It sure didn't for like 12 year old me. I was like, cool, I, I get, I, that doesn't help. Maybe it helped. 
in certain circumstances. I'm too stupid to remember them. And sometimes it's weird when you're playing a, a Duke game and you see a sign that's completely normal that doesn't have like a sexual reference or like just it just be crass. It's very strange. I don't know how I feel about it. 1503, I believe, is the key. I'm super good at video games. Remembering basic? Uh-uh. Yeah, 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 see, I'm really good. Remembering basic numbers, that's my strength. It's not even my strength. The shotgun does the most damage up close. No shit! But you know what? That did feel a little bit like a Duke Nukem level. Like, it, it even felt like, what, level three, four? What um, the hell is this place? Rapture. Like when you're stuck in the uh, the prison and you're getting electrocuted, it kind of felt like that a little bit. Now something I'm not sure of is if this particular DLC has any new weapons. I want to say it probably doesn't. Uh, He's gross. So I'll deal with you in due time, but I will also deal with you immediately right now. Look at that. I saw that vent from way over here, so that's certainly going to be a fucking thing. I don't know. Can it be a thing right now? It sure can. Oh. Huh? Oh, yeah. Not going to shoot a rat. I will never. I will never do such a thing. If the game requires me to do it, I will simply... Not, I will simply stop the video. These are one of the gray aliens, one of the many gray aliens of uh, DNF. They're gray. It's hard to. Uh, you know what? This makes sense, right? Well, I mean, if the, you know, if uh, things aimed well, and actually the bullets went where you shot in Duke Nukem Forever, they was really dumb. The expander, huh? Shit up. Time to blow shit up. I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess we'll do that. It's time to expand Dong. Pick that up, pick that up. Pipe bombs. That That's a Duke Nukem thing. We can certainly use that. Okay, but... You need to, you need to, he got expanded. And he's expanding slowly? I don't know what his deal is. He has anti-expanding technology. Oh, I will not pick up the Captain Laser. I hate that fucking thing. I do not like the Expander. It is not that fun to use. Where's my pistol? I can't believe I'm begging for the pistol back. Man, it's really fucked up when people were like, Hey, remember? Remember there were glory kills? Uh, Doom's glory kills? Remember? They were in Duke Nukem Forever, and I, was, I just stared at people for like a good long while. I had no memory of what the hell they were talking about. Because it's such a, like, I don't know, slipshod system in this. It's kind of a system. It gives you a bit of health back, but it happens so infrequently. Wait, AT laser is good, or is the captain laser that's bad? One of them's very bad. I will pick up the rail gun. I don't remember this being amazing in the original game, but maybe in this one, it's amazing. It did the job. No, the enforcer... No, the enforcer gun is... I don't know. I don't remember. It looks cool. Of all buttons to really pound on a keyboard, I think the space bar is... is is a space bar is certainly, you know, very important uh, key, but uh, to, to pound it is a little awkward. All right, this is sometimes functional, this laser. I sure don't want a little bit of damage. Okay. That was close enough to shave my balls. Was it though? Was it really? Just shoot all this shit now. Don't want to have to deal with it later. And this gun's actually kind of cool. Like cluster bombs. Like, who hates a cluster bomb? Oh fuck. Why would I want to expand these things to make them bigger? Wait, there was a shotgun somewhere. Where was that? There's a shotgun that was... I, I just got a prompt for it. That was so weird. I saw it first. You all saw that, right? I'm not crazy. Whatever. Ripper cannons here. The number one thing everyone loves in their first-person shooters is small, fast, hard-to-hit enemies. 
Oh, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, those like death balls just came at me out of nowhere. You all saw that. I have to see where that shotgun prompt was. This is gonna drive me crazy. Um, I have stupid Duke vision. It's it's here. It's laying on this thing. I mean, I'll take it. One thing, Duke Nukem, uh, sixty four. <laughs> <laughs> I would think Duke Nukem 64 does pretty well is his shotgun. I I won't take that away from it. And get in there. I'm gonna ride the tentacle. This is like one of the most useless things to interact with in the main game. I love it. My my twitch seat. Gamer chairs. It's like not an alarming amount of blood. It's it's a it's a concerning amount of blood. I wouldn't be alarmed. Okay, that's bit more I'll just spin a seat and talk to proton I presume there you are So he says he's very busy, but he's always in the same chair, kind of doing the same thing in every shot, so I think he's kind of flying. All right, so the manufacturing factory sounds super fun. I'm just gonna grab this right now. Not even gonna wait. God damn it. Okay, we're not doing that yet. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. It's the shrink ray, the shrink ray. I guess the shrink ray is good. You know what? I'll come back for it if I need it in this room. I feel like I will need it later. I do kind of like these Terminator Dukes with, with the Atomic logo. I think this is a fine enemy. It makes narrative sense. Where are you? There you are. True enough. It's pretty gross too. I might. If you live long enough to see phase three, that's when I kill you. So I'm a little disappointed in that line because he could have done it more awkwardly and stupidly, which I would have appreciated. That's fine. Which weapon is this again? I don't know what it is. So this is the PC version. I, I I sprung for it, I guess. And at least we get four weapon slots. That's good. Expanded in. Why would you not click this on? Why would that ever be an option? That's weird. Let me know if you're one of those DNF purists. Okay, look, now I can hold more weapons. <laughs> It's ridiculous! I got all the ammo possible. That's fine. You know, I, I am I am very excited for the state of first person shooting right now. We have a lot of great indie boomer shooters coming out. We have Evil West, Shadow Warrior 3. Obviously, id Software is going to reveal something soon, and Duke will continue to be left out of all of it because of everything that happened. Here's the newest issue of Suds! At that suds, I can spin the chair, but she can't see it. Throw it down. I wish you could distract enemies at the very fucking least. That'd be helpful. You know what the really crazy thing about Two Nukem Forever, and especially a PC version, is that you cannot save whenever you want, which is so, so weird. Why would you do this? I mean, that really seems like that's where I gotta go. But no, it's this weird rail. <laughs> Okay, so let's run off this, perhaps. Perhaps that's what Randy Pitchford wants me to do. He didn't direct this thing. Like, you know, I, I'm giving him shit, but... All right, that was it. Okay, good. You know, let's just move on with our lives. Let's not talk about this. God, do I need to jump on this one now, too? Maybe, yeah, maybe. It, well, that's, yeah. I was super afraid of that. No, maybe not, because this doesn't seem like it actually goes anywhere. Like, there's no jumpable spot. Just this, the scientist is gonna, we're doing so much for this guy. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm not being patient, and the game seems to want an extreme amount of patience. So I'm, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait. Get up on here. 
this is the only logical new place to go, so let's go to it. All right, where, where, where are we going? Please let me know where we're going. Oh God, let me know. Huh? Huh? Okay. All right, that's not that scary. I didn't know. I'm being scared of everything in this level. All right, that seems fine. <laughs> You know, the thing with Duke Nukem is if, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger in any of his hero roles, same thing for uh, Sylvester Stallone, anybody really, if an innocent person got killed on their watch, they'd be like, oh shit, that's awful. But Duke Nukem says, oops. And that's, that's the difference between the two. So they're making Duke clones, which is a smart way to get around having to make a bunch of unique enemies, right? Uh, I thought it wanted me to kill them. What 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 would you like me to do? Because usually when something's uh, flashing like this, there you go. Out with the old, in with the nucleus. Would that kill a robot? Um, all science says no. I. Oh, love the hair. Amazing. <laughs> This floor looks really nice. Oh man, am I almost as sexy as me? No one's almost as sexy as me. So the, the I like skills training is just basketball. That's that's it. That's the only skill Duke has. Here's the main hall. Um, I don't think I distracted any of the clones. I feel bad for the clones because they're programmed to like this stuff. They don't actually like all these boobs and butts. It's not fun for them. They think it is though. I don't know how this is educational. I'm not particularly learning anything. I knew all this stuff. <laughs> so they're all distracted. They're all distracted. Holy shit. I gotta, I gotta go now. Oh, I didn't even go here. Oh, I can do some stuff. One punch leads to maximum Love ego. A little, if you want it. Oh, 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 yes, yes, I would like to, sir. I mean, he's gonna beat my ass. He's a robot. He's a machine. Holy moly! <laughs> the the no the no like cadence and emotion is what kind of makes that. I will. Gimme. I fucked up so bad already. I fucked oh. up. I was I pressed E and not held E. Lesson that was one. the problem. Don't fuck with the real Duke. Dude, like keep it on the down low, please. Why 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 would the robots need training? It'd all be pre-programmed in, would it not? Does that not make sense? I don't know. It probably doesn't. It says a lot when this game, Duke Nukem, made by a lot of members of a team that make Duke Nukem games, have a bunch of really not interesting alien weapons, but like, you know, the conduit does, the time shift, and I mean, not time shift, but you know what I'm saying? It's like much less well-known studios kind of did an arsenal of guns in a way cooler way. Okay. This is a little weird. Is it just because the enemies are so annoying? Oh, yeah, there is this new weapon in this. This, is this weird alien gun, the Impregnator, which is awful. I don't want to hold this. Okay, I'm just... No, I can't go in there. That's not something I can go into. Let's go into it anyway. I want to escape this section of the game. Okay. Feeling feeling good about this now. This is feeling a little bit better. Okay, there's a big intruder alert. I don't know who they're talking about. It could be anybody. Whoa! That's kind of fun. The it, As long as it doesn't go on for too long, I do find the, shr the shrunken sections to be, like, at least kind of enjoyable. But when there's too many of them all at, all at once, it, it does uh, tend to get a little uh, long on the tooth. 
Wow. That's that's the style what I would have thought to have done, but I did it. All right, you, sir, scientist that we killed earlier in the doorway. You no, know, this isn't. This isn't. What, please, can you leave? You're really in the way. Get down. Get down. I mean, get down. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, it's a cool vehicle. I like the lame uh, Duke vehicle as he usually gets. Well, let's go home and paint each other's toenails. That would be great. That would be a nice change from the everyday. Nice. <laughs> uh, that was sick, actually. You know, I don't know why I'm starting to be all fast and loose with this. I should actually go slow. Yeah, it's probably be better if I did that. This, this is kind of cool. This is a, a good deal cooler than anything you did in uh, DNF Vanilla. Just, just circumventing this gigantic grinding. Like this looks like a death trap out of Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Now another section, in case you were wondering, that I did not like from DNF is every underwater section. I, this could be the way out. I kind of doubt it. It is? Of course. Why am I not shocked? Holy shit! All right, so that's enough for uh, Doom Nukem Forever, uh, the doctor who what cloned me. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see more, because I don't want to talk to Dylan right now. I'm good, and I'll see what I can do for you.